After a long night out with her fiancé Finley broke, our not so berry air Rosalie Bastianich was finally back in her bright Chester dorm and back to the reality of her situation. Her fiancé wants to marry her and marry her soon. Why was he in such a rush? She wondered. She was panicking. Panicking a lot about what he said. She wasn't ready to be married. And since she'd now found out how passionate Finley was to be her husband, Rosalie didn't know if he would take her objections peacefully. Luckily for her, Finley was back at Foxbury, and she had something to distract her. Her classmate, Kimberly Petty, who was inviting her to a party happening later tonight. A party sounded fantastic. A night to get drunk, socialize, dance, and avoid her problems was just what Rosalie needed. Kimmy told her to be at her dorm at 7. They can get ready for the party together. Today was Saturday, so Rosalie had no classes. But she did have her first round of debate practice with the debate guild, so she spruced herself up before leaving for the quad, thinking about Finley as she headed out. Then she stopped thinking about him, because she felt like she was gonna have a heart attack. Dude, what on earth happened to your face? It looks like someone took a rolling pin to it. Rosalie arrived to the debate early, snagging a great seat right front and center. She was beyond ready to obliterate these nerds, challenging fellow club member Kaylani Miranda. The debate topic options were quite silly, but Rosalie knew it was just because this was their first practice of the term. She couldn't wait to get into the good stuff, like topics regarding childcare and parenting, helping addicts and the poor, and doing more to stop woohoo predators. Regardless, she tried her best to debate this topic, using her high confidence to her advantage. The audience seemed somewhat intrigued with her argument, but what really mattered is that they seemed bored with her opponents. She lacked the confidence and spark that Rosalie's argument had, not to mention her looks. Why does every damn townie of mine spawn with that dreadful haircut? After what Rosalie thought were millenniums, the debate finally ended, Rosalie being crowned the winner of this round. And she wasn't the least bit surprised. She also gained a new trait, self-assured, like she didn't already know that about herself. She was truly invincible. Rosalie was feeling quite cocky, so when she was challenged by yet another debate member for another round, she said yes of course. She was really pumped up now, putting that new self-assured trait to good use. But as the debate went on, she learned that her opponent, Tristan Voigt, was actually one of the leaders. She could tell by his confidence and the way he he was refuting her arguments, oh damn, why is he blushing, Rosalie, I smell an opportunity, she didn't show any signs of panic, and she kept the audience's reactions in mind, but ultimately, the judges were far more impressed with her opponent, she lost this round, but that was okay, she was still really proud of herself for winning at least one, she went ahead and watched the final debate round, taking many mental notes on Tegan Crumb's strategy, after that, she used the remaining of event time left to socialize with her teammates. She politely introduced herself to her first opponent Kailani, then to a few of the judges, and lastly, to Ariella Wiseman. By the end of the event, she was exhausted, not getting enough sleep after her date with Finley last night. So she immediately headed back to her dorm for a quick nap before getting ready for her first college party tonight. Speaking of Finley, she was not planning on inviting him to go with her to the party let alone telling him about it. She just couldn't be around him right now, not after what he told her last night, how he wants to marry her after second term. She needed a night to not think about it and feel like a college kid. So, she ended up lying to Finley, telling him that she was studying for a big test on Monday and that he couldn't come over. She felt bad for lying to him. It was the first time she ever did it. But it's to protect his feelings and their relationship, right? What he doesn't know won't harm him. After a quick shower and sprucing herself up, she headed over to Kimberly Petty's dorm to continue getting ready for the party, and unfortunately, she walked in on something she was never meant to see. Kimmy was strapping down the purple chick with a missing hand. Rosalie ran out the room in a hurry. She did not mean to walk in on Kimmy getting wicked. 
though it was slightly intriguing. Rosalie didn't think it was possible to be able to arch your back that much. She patiently waited for Kimmy to come to the hallway, her greeting Rosalie with a big hug. She apologized to Rosalie for walking in on her and her woohoo buddy April. April must have forgotten to lock the door. Rosalie was chill with it. It wouldn't be a college experience if everyone wasn't woohooing with everyone in the building. But Rosalie was surprised to find out that Kimmy was into girls. And that's when she told Rosalie that she swings both ways. Wow, Rosalie's first alphabet army friend. She thought that was so cool. Anyways, it was time for the redhead brigade to head over to the party, hosted by a couple of college seniors. Kimmy changed her dress so they could match. Rosalie taking a bunch of selfies with her new friend before entering the house. The house was already packed. Tons of students gathering around outside to drink, smoke, and dance. But what Rosalie wanted to do was hit up the beer pong table. She had so much fun playing it in high school, and now she can actually drink the beers. It was her and Kimmy against her debate teammates, Tristan and Oriella. As she played, she found out her debate teammate was pretty shitty at this. Rosalie's about to kick her ass at debate and at beer pong. As they played, Rosalie failed to notice Kimmy scoping the party for potential playmates. And she wasn't talking about beer pong. April wasn't the only sim she planned on getting wicked with tonight. At least her hand is back. Wait a damn minute. Is that Maximilian Fontaine I see? Oh no, Finley would hate this. Rosalie and Kimmy ended up obliterating the debate members. And that's when our air saw someone she recognized in the corner of her eye. Santos Royal, her childhood friend. Oh my god, he goes to Brightchester. Rosalie was so stoked to see someone else she recognized here attending Brightchester. Though her aunt Santos weren't as close in their teen years as they were in their child years. Rosalie saw an opportunity for that to change. She always thought Santos was so incredibly sweet. And her having a friend from home attending the same college as her was just the cherry on top. And of course, Kimmy couldn't help but notice Rosalie's fine friend. Rosalie, Santos, and Kimmy grabbed some drinks and sat down with each other. Kimmy shamelessly flirting with Santos. Unfortunately for her, it didn't seem like Santos was all that interested in her. Damn girl, that's rough LMAO. He was way more interested in catching up with Rosalie and how things were going in her life, how her family was, what she was majoring in, if she was still friends with Finley. Oh, she was way more than just friends with Finley, but she did didn't wear her engagement ring tonight for a reason. She simply told Santos that they were still very good friends and that he was attending Foxbury. Rosalie could tell Kimmy was really interested in Santos. So she grabbed a beer and took Santos with her to the bar to try and hype her friend up to him a bit. But there was really no point. He was more interested in Rosalie. Very interested in Rosalie. Great, Santos. Great, you just had to go ahead and be a man. Immediately, Rosalie rejected Santos's advances. She was stunned that he even wanted her like that. She thought what they had was an innocent, platonic relationship. But then again, she really didn't know Santos anymore. And he probably assumed she was single. <laughs> After rejecting Santos, Kimmy invited him to help her do a keg stand. And, well... <laughs> Damn, Kimmy, you're just having a rough night. And the thing is, it was about to get way worse. Kimmy's woohoo buddy April is dying from embarrassment. Girl, what the fuck? I literally can't make this shit up. Kimmy girl, just buy a rose at this point. All while Rosalie and Santos were doing a keg stand. Moments after, they began to notice the crowd behind them gasping and crying in despair. I love how there are a few sims still dancing. Their give a fucks are on vacation. Damn, the lights are turning off. Have they been partying literally all night? They must have been, because in the middle of all the chaos, Rosalie thought it was the perfect time for a power nap. Well shit. Rip to Kimmy's woohoo buddy, Kimmy's chances of getting with Santos, and Kimmy's sanity, at the very least, it was definitely a college party that no one in attendance will be forgetting. 